What's up, guys? This is ASMR Boosters. Today, I have three packs of Magic the Gathering 2015 core set. It is the last core set after or before Origins that they've made. Origins is the last core set they've ever done, or they're ever going to do, as far as I know, because they are sticking to two blocks a year now, each with two sets. So, instead of a core set, we'll just get another part of a block. So, I'm going to start with Johnny because I think I like Nissa a little bit better, and I like Jace, obviously, more. So, let's get cracking. Each land is a swamp in addition to its 
other land types. Yawgmoth's corpse is a wound in the universe. His foul blood seeps out, infecting the land with his final curse. Lord Windgrace. It's a good rare. It's played in some cubes and whatnot, so... Soldier token and a forest. So, not bad, I guess. It's, you know, could be better, but... Oh, I'm happy with that land. So. Oppressive rays. Enchant creature. Enchanted creature can't attack or block unless its controller pays three colorless. Activated abilities of enchanted creature cost three more to activate. That sucks. Like, that would suck for it to be you. Welkin turn. Flying. It can block only creatures with flying. Sailors have come to regard them as bad luck, for they falsely bring hope of bland. <laughs> they die. Crowd's favor has convoke. Target creature gets plus one, plus zero, and gains first strike until the end of turn. Ranger's Guile. Target creature you control gets plus one, plus one, and gains hexproof until the end of turn. You don't survive in the wild by standing in plain sight. Garuk Wild Speaker. Carry and crow again. Statute of Denial. Counter target spell. If you control a blue creature, draw a card, then discard a card. Pyrotechnic activity of any sort is strictly prohibited. It is irrelevant that today is a holiday. That's funny. Merry Christmas. Tyrant's Machine. Four and tap. Tap target creature. That's really expensive. Though tempered differently, all wills can be broken. Inquisitor Kyrick. Grinko's Enforcer. Intimidate. He just likes to break legs. Collecting the debt is a bonus. <laughs> Goblins are gross. Selfless Cathar. For one and a white. Sacrifice it. Creatures you control get 1-1 one, one until the end of turn. If I fail to offer myself, we will surely be overrun. My fate would be the same. Chrono Stutter. Put target creature into its owner's library, second from the top. Timing is everything. First uncommon. Curd Chieftain. It looks like a Super Sa or a Saiyan. Once it turns it. On a full moon. Curd Chieftain gets 1-1 one, one as long as you control a forest. For 4 and a green, target creature gets plus 2, plus 2, and gains travel until the end of turn. Staff of the Wild Magus, or Magus, I think it's Magus. Whenever you cast a green spell, or a forest enters the battlefield under your control, you gain 1 life. A symbol of ferocity in oppressive times. The only way I can ever see these cards being good is for like infinite stuff. If you have like a green loop going on and you can end up getting that like really high. Into the void. Return up to two dark creatures to their owner's hands. The Cathars have their swords. The Inquis Inquisitors have their axes. I prefer the diplomatic approach. Turhold. Archmage of Drenal. Mass Calcify. Destroy all non-white creatures. The dead serve as their own tombstones. For seven. It's a little expensive, especially for sorcery speed. But once again, I'll take it. Planes. And just a tip card. Okay. Chase, bring us some good luck.
was actually not too impressed with the chase from this set, though. Foundry Street Denizen. Whenever another red creature enters the battlefield under your control, it gets plus one, plus zero until the end of turn. After the Foundry Street riot, Arrester Albane, Albane tried to ban bludgeons, which inevitably resulted in another riot, especially for goblins. They love to bludgeon. Heliod's Pilgrim. When Heliod's Pilgrim enters the battlefield, you may search your library for an aura card, reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. I keep yawning. I really love this card art. The Frost Lynx always looks so cool. When Frost Lynx enters the battlefield, tap target creature and opponent controls. That creature doesn't untap during its controller's next untap step. It readily attacks much larger prey, knowing retaliation is impossible. Wall of Fire, Defender, yeah, can attack it, go on block, hence the zero. Wall of Fire gets plus one, plus zero until the end of turn for one red. Mercy is for those who keep their distance. So it can block, but if it has, like, if you bump it up to five, it can be a five, five, so it can destroy stuff that attacks it. Titanic Growth. Target creature gets plus four, plus four, until the end of turn. The Massive Dominant through Might. The Massive Dominate through Might. The Tiny Survive with Guile. Beware the Tiny who become Massive. <laughs> Necromancer's Assistant. When Necromancer's Assistant. Necromancer's Assistant. Necromancer. When Necromancer's Assistant enters the battlefield, put the top three cards of your library into the graveyard. Zombies and Necromancers agree. Easy access to brains is preferred. Verdant Haven. Enchant Land. Verdant Haven. When it enters the battlefield, you gain two. Whenever enchanted land is tapped for mana, its controller adds one mana of any color to his or her mana pool, in addition to the mana the land produces. So, that's pretty good, sometimes. Flesh to dust. Destroy target creature. It can't be regenerated. For five. <laughs> Pain is temporary. So is life. Liliana Vess. Carnivorous Moss Beast. For seven, put a 1-1 one, one counter on Carnivorous Moss Beast. That's expensive. <laughs> Ranger Wisdom dictates that when fleeing from a Moss Beast, you must stay calm, find your bearings, and run south. Because Moss grows to the north. <laughs> Mind Rot. Target player discards two cards. It saddens me to lose a source of inspiration. This one seemed especially promising. Ashiok, the Planeswalker. Military Intelligence. Whenever you attack with two or more creatures, draw a card. To know the battlefield is to anticipate the enemy. To know the enemy is to anticipate victory. Capshaw Kite Vins. Flying. Whenever it or another creature enters the battlefield under your control, tap target creature and opponent controls. It's truly disconcerting sight to see their shadows cast upon the deck. Captain Triff. Congregate. Target player gains two life for each creature on the battlefield. In the gathering, there is strength for all who found her. Renewal for all who languish. Love for all who sing. Song of all, Canto 642. And our last rare, <laughs> in Garrick's Wake. Pretty decent card. Cost nine. Destroy all creatures you don't control. And all planeswalkers you don't control. Beyond pain. Beyond obsession. And wild despair. Lies a place of twisted power only the most tormented souls can reach. So, that's Garrick, the uh, black green one. That's why it's a black card. Because he crossed over. Now, dead. And a landmine token to end things off. Sacrifice.
sacrifice this artifact for one red. This artifact deals two damage to target attacking creature without flying. So, there you go, guys. Three decent rares. Nothing crazy, but Urborg, Incarex Wake, Mass Calcify. So, two board wipes and a ramp spell or whatever. Or, a, you know, land fixing, I guess. So, could be worse, could be better. They're all very, like, those two are really expensive. Seven and nine. So, Anyways, the contest ends tomorrow, so for those of you who haven't uh, checked it out, check out my last video, I am doing a contest for a pack of cards, and so far there's only like three people who have entered, so leave a comment on the last video, tell me what you guys want, and if you're a subscriber, you're eligible to win, so thanks for watching, happy tingles, bye!